Okay, shalom, shalom. Om yes, Allah, koholoim la. Yahweh b'ashim Yahweh shai b'ashim rakah hakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to state the water toward the Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh b'ashim Yahweh shai to the best of their ability. Shachin on the waft is coming at you with another quick lesson. <laughs> And praying that it's edifying by the spirit. I'm gonna try and keep it as classy as we possibly can. Uh, cause this ninja, Amari Stoudemire, and I ain't talking about the ninja that's that's you know, that's that's into Kung Fu. <laughs> Amari Stoudemire slams Black Lives Matter. With those those are ninjas too. And we we I don't support neither one of them. But it says supporters who haven't spoken up on the Hamas attack on Israel. He slams Black Lives Matter. Okay, so out of all groups, did he slam the Chinese? Is he slamming the Japanese? Is he slamming, you know what I'm saying? Um, just Is he slamming anybody other than, 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 than so-called black folk, right? And I say so-called black because we're all just different shades of brown. As you can see, his suit is black, you know. And for him to say black lives, man, because, you know, this dude, man, is through. He's been through ever since he went over there. And I'm surprised. I mean, me personally, I think he should just go ahead, get him a ticket, fly on over there, and join that army. Go on over there, man. They need help. Problem with recruits, man. Take your ass on over there and help out uh, 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 the, the, the people you love most. Go for it. <laughs> I mean, what are you here for? What, what are you waiting on? You could have you could have made that statement from an airplane. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get what he got to say. Let's get what he got to say. Let's see what he got to say, baby. He got a shade song. Let's see. I woke up, man, this morning with some disturbing news out of Israel. The Hamas kidnapping children, putting them in cages, killing women, killing the elderly. That's some coward shit. Okay. Now let me, let me, let me, let me stop him there. Didn't the so-called white man do all those things that he's talking about? Where's your, your outcry? Where's your outrage? Didn't they do that? Didn't they put niggas in cages? <laughs> Didn't they, um, you know, kidnap children? Didn't they whoop down the elderly? Didn't they work the elderly to the bone? They got every last bit of work out of, out of our ancestors that they possibly could. And you know who owned those boats? Good ship Jesus and all those boats. Come on now. Let's, let's, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep it classy, though. Because I ain't never heard this Negro talking about nothing like that before. I've never heard him coming out and even even supporting his own people. As far as that goes, you you jumping up and got all this outcry for a whole other race of people when you won't do that for your own people, man. That's very goddamn hypocritical, you ask me. You see? Well, let's, let's, let's see. Well, let's get it. That's cowardly. And for all y'all Black Lives Matter who ain't saying nothing, well, let me figure out exactly what happened before I say anything. Fuck you. Figure out what? They ain't never been... But hold up, though. Didn't you say you just woke up this morning and found this out? Have you given them the opportunity to say something? Huh? Didn't you just wake up? Let's, let's back this up. Let's see what he said. You know, we pay attention to detail over here, buddy. Let's see. I woke up, man, this morning with some disturbing news out of Israel. The Hamas kidnapping children, putting them in cages, killing women. Okay, so he did say he woke up this morning. Okay, so, you know, I, you know, all right. So they were supposed to, as soon as they heard the news, you know. I mean, goddamn, I, you, you cut into Joe Biden and them. He didn't jump right up out of bed and say, hey, you know what? You know, he at least had to, you know what I'm saying, get his thoughts together. You know what I'm saying? All the rest of these people, they had to get their thoughts together. Everybody didn't jump on Twitter, you know what I'm saying, or X, formerly known as Twitter, and, and, and get to uh, bashing their own people. I ain't see no, um, um, no kung fu people get up and say, hey, you know what? I woke up this morning, and I am pissed with you guys that you didn't stand up for Israel. You don't hear that from no, um, you, you know, no, no, no Asian people doing that. No, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, come on, bro. 
So, so what's your logic here? But this lets you know, man, how bad this guy, he hates his own people, though. And he's been showing that. He's been showing that for quite some time. He's been showing that. Here you go. You are the Hebrew Israelite. You are the original Jew, but you're calling yourself Jew-wish. You, you, you falling into Judaism. Come on, bro. Ain't nobody listening to you, man. Get the hell out of here, man. Because I'm, I'm seriously, why didn't you? You should be, you should be on a plane. You, you should be, where are you at right now? I would like to know where he's at doing this interview. You should be standing over there. Uh, uh, you should be at the airport in Israel making this, making this, um, this Twitter account, um, this Twitter hookup right now. We should be watching you from there. First thing that sh should have came out of your mouth was, I'm here to support Israel. I'm about to join their military. And to you, Black Lives Matter, you should have went that route. Anyway, come on. And women killing the elderly. That's some coward shit. That's cowardly. And for all y'all Black Lives Matter who ain't saying nothing, well, let me figure out exactly what happened before I say anything. Fuck you. Figure out what? They ain't never been cool to kidnap kids and put them in cages. They ain't never been cool to kill. Okay. So why aren't you saying that I've never seen you come out and say that about the so-called white people that you went to the NBA and played for? Those people that are still living off that slave money. I've never heard you say anything like that about them because they done it. And, and actually, <laughs> boy, I tell you, man. Ugh. Man, 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 man. Hey, this is why two thirds of, of Israel is gonna get that business, man. Because matter of fact, let me let me let me just get a quick scripture. This shit, they must have set him up to say this. He can't be this goddamn stupid. They must have threw him a couple of dollars. Or they, they probably like, hey, you know what? That favor that you owe us, we're gonna need you to go on TV and we're gonna need you to say a few things. <laughs> he can't be this goddamn stupid, man. Anyway, let's get this though. And I'm not going to keep this long. I seen this and was like, man, this boy, are you got to be crazy, man. <sighs> got me hyped. So y'all. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. See, this, man, this guy, and this is the majority of our people. This is the majority of our people. You see? He's destroyed for lack of knowledge. Or well, then again, maybe he know. I mean, he got enough money to know. I, you, know I, you know, I mean, certain things, when you get to the, you know, that, that status of, of where he's at, you should at least know a few things like, God damn, you, you know. You're not ignorant. You're, 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 you're totally ignorant to the history of your own people. The very shit that you're saying, the, the, the people that you're defending right now are actually had part in that. And then at the same time, too, you know, that scripture that talks about he that meddleth with. Um, <laughs> I think that's in uh, Proverbs chapter 26. Like this is none of our goddamn business. What are you expecting us to do? As a people, and I'm not, I'm not associating with uh, Black Lives Matter. What are you, because cause, cause Black Lives Matter didn't support their own people. That was a, a, a goddamn hoax. You should be at least saying that. You, you don't know that, 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 that the so-called Black Lives Matter shit was ran by uh, 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 some women that didn't give a shit about a dude, about a man being in the home? Are you serious? You didn't know that with all that money you got? <sighs> Man, boy, I tell you, our people, man. What is that? Uh, is it 17? Yeah, it says, he that passeth by and meddleth with strife, belonging not to him, is like one that taketh the dog by the ears. No, no, we're not getting into that. You know? You know how, look, you can be trying to be positive towards those and say something positive and, and it comes out to be anti-Semitic. So, no, it's best you keep your mouth shut. But here you go. Everybody out here running around, jumping off just like, oh, well, nah, man, hey, that, that shit ain't got nothing to do with us, man. Jake in the hood trying to play bills. Jake trying to get rent together. <laughs> Jake working two, three jobs, man. Jake trying to get the goddamn car fixed. You know? Jake out here got all kinds of stuff on their mind. They, they don't have it like how you have it to get up and all of a sudden, I got up this morning. Yeah, man, when I got up this morning, hell, I went to work. I went to the plantation. 
And you know what? At my plant, at the plantation that I went to, guess what they do? They take our taxes that go to Israel. Buddy, every single one of us so-called blacks that work in America, them taxes that they take from us, a nice portion of it is cut to go to Israel. So don't we get to talking about we're not helping them out because we are. Now, it's not voluntary, I, I would have to say, but we are helping them. <laughs> so come on, bro. Look, look, come on now. You don't know that the tax money that they take from you, your millions, which I'm sure you don't pay as much as we do on a percentage wise. But the money that they take out of your check, so to speak, hey, a nice portion, a nice chunk of that is going to the people that you're, 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 you're defending right now, Israel. So we're helping them. You should be applauding us. You know who didn't get reparations? You know who didn't get anything? <laughs> Out of all the nations of people that uh, uh, these so-called white people done fucked over? You know who didn't get anything? You know who's still waiting? The so-called blacks that you're talking about while they're still taking taxpayer ta taxes out of our money and sending it to these people. So you should be applauding us, buddy. <laughs> Straight the fuck up, man. So fuck you, Mari Stoudemire. You doofy. Just, you doofy, man. Boy, let me keep it clear. Women and, and elderly, never been, no matter where you're from, what you represent, what tribe you for, it don't matter. They ain't never been no cool. They ain't never been nothing that nobody supported. And then you go and hide and put the kids in front of you as a barricade. That's some coward shit. All you politicians who always have something to say on the contrary, I see you. Fuck you. All you Black Lives Matter people who always have something to say and always support everything else and you quiet now, fuck you too. Only place in the world where I can go and study tour and eat kosher food. Only place in the world. Some coward shit, dog. And all y'all support it. Fuck you. But hold on now. Why are they getting rid of the so-called black sets over there? Since you're talking about the only place you can read the Torah, the only place you can eat kosher food at. What about those so-called black people that, that they're trying to get rid of from over there? Why don't you, where, where was you at? Why didn't you speak up for them, buddy? Why didn't you speak up for them? Oh, y'all wrong. Where was you at then, buddy? Come on, bro. This dude, they, they, they had to have set him up. They got something on him. They, they probably like, hey, look, man, we need you to, um, uh, uh, it's time to pay that tab, man, that you owe us. We need you to go on Twitter and, and say something about, um, them Negroes. Because we're the target. See, we're the target. You best believe that we are the target. As a people, see, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the original he um, Hebrew Israelites. You so-called Negroes that's here in America, you are the original Jews. You are the people from the Bible. See? And they use Negroes like this right here, these token niggas, because he might be a goddamn tear. I'm just, you, 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 it's up in the air with you right now. I'm, I'm thinking you might be a tear. <laughs> You might be one of those chocolate color color Edomites, boy, standing there talking that shit like that, man. This dude, man, come on, bro. It's a lucky again, man. <laughs> they just get you hot, boy. Golly. Chill, 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 brother. Chill. Golly, man. This is this Negro actually went on here and said all this shit that he said. And and I guess it just it never it never this is how I know they they, they had to set him up to do this. You can't be this stupid. You cannot be this goddamn stupid, bro. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Oh, my mama, we don't, we don't respect none of y'all for that. Peace. Peace. Should you have said shalom? Nigga. Man, I'll check, man you know what? I'm going to clip it there. In the comments. And, and they Jake in there cutting his ass up. You know? Even, even Esau in there cutting this guy up, man, in the comments, man. But like I said, again, we're helping Israel, man. Every paycheck that I get, they got money from me this past Friday. What the fuck are you talking about? They've been getting money out of me since I was still like 13. I've been working a, a you know, a, a tax, you know, deductible job since I was like 13. Shit. Minus a year or so here and there. You know what I'm saying? Where I may not have been, you know, found no work or some shit. But God damn. Shit. These motherfuckers been getting money from me every goddamn paycheck. Since I was 13 years old, you trying to tell me that, hey, I, I ain't helped out? 
Every so-called Negro here in the Americas that pay taxes, your money is going towards Israel. A, lot, some, a portion of your money is going towards these people. And you had absolutely nothing to do with the Holocaust or nothing to do with anything that anybody done to them. You had nothing to do. You was going through this, your bullshit. You still going through bullshit. They didn't, you know, the, <laughs> them bent, you know, they came up out of their shit. They, 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 they got some land. They out here getting billions of dollars from America. Where do you think those billions of dollars are coming from? They coming out of your money too. I don't give a fuck if you work at a McDonald's, you work at a Burger King, you work um, um, at a mechanic shop. I don't give a shit where you work at. When them taxes is being taken out of your money, a portion of it is going to Israel. So, 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 Amari Stoudemire, you can cut the bull, man. You need to go and be re-educated. And you, y'all need to stop setting, these, stop setting these dumb ass Negroes up to do stuff like this, man. I mean, because 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 <laughs> I mean, even the silliest, the silliest of Jake can, can see that shit that this dude is stupid as hell. And somebody set him up to do that. Here you go with your shades on. We can't even see your eyes. motherfucker. What you crying? What you, you you got up this morning? As soon as you heard the news, you just bawling out of control to the point where your eyes are pink. You got pink eye, nigga. Come on, bro. So <laughs> lock your bad. But anyway, hey. Our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. This is a clear indication that, hey, we need out of here. We need our Lord, man. We need away from Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Because this, this, this nigga right here, is, he's worse than one of these niggas walking around with um, their pants hanging off their ass. At least the, the, the Negroes that's running around with their pants hanging off their ass, you know, a, a, a get down for his crown, so to speak. This Negro right here, man, come on, man. Come on. He don't even. Never mind. Let me let me keep it classy. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Call me a shoulder.